Hello viewers and listeners. Welcome once again to Salida Teleradio Escuela. Today is another episode full of learning and fun here in School on Air. I'm your radio host, Teacher Serenia Bracero from La Filipina National High School. Before we proceed mga kastig, I would like to inform you that we can also be here in La Filipina National High School official Facebook page and with our partner radio station 98.3 Gold FM Kuyawano. This time, we will explore another topic in TLA Grade 10, Classification of Seafoods. And of course, for those who are willing and interested to learn, you are very much welcome to join us. And now, are you ready mga kastig? Great! Let us all welcome our teacher broadcaster, Nan Rosario Sabinorio. Thank you so much, Teacher Sari, ang bago natong Master Teacher 1 sa TLE. Good day, listeners and viewers. Welcome to Salida Teleradio. Despite of the pandemic, we still be able to learn our lesson by discussing it through FM radio station 98.3 Gold FM. Kuya Wano? And of course, we are live in our very own Salida Teleradio. The official Facebook, Teleradio of the La Filipina National High School. Today, I am your teacher broadcaster, Teacher Rosario Sacris Sabinorio. This day, we will be learning and prepare and cook seafood dishes. This is for grade 10 students who are studying TLE subject, particularly in cookery 42 of module 5 which is classification of seafood. Our objectives for today's lesson are Number one, discuss the overview of seafood. Number two, identify the different types of seafood. Number three, determine the variety of fish. But before we begin with our discussion, Let's have first the pre-assessment. This is the test your knowledge prior to the topic that I will be discussing. So students, please have now your pen and paper for you to write your answer on its question. You are only given 5 seconds to answer its question. After 5 seconds, I will reveal the correct answer. Just write the letter of the correct answer of the given question. Shall we start now? Question number one. What kind of fish has no internal bone structure? A. Fin fish B. Freshwater fish C. Shellfish D. Round fish What kind of fish has no internal bone structure? A. Fin fish B. Water fish C. Shellfish T. Round fish What is the correct answer? The correct answer is letter C. Shellfish Number 2 What do you call marine fish or fish that live in ocean? A. Salt water fish B. Freshwater fish C. Shellfish T. Catfish I repeat, what do you call marine fish or fish that live in ocean? A. Saltwater fish B. Freshwater fish C. Shellfish T. Catfish What is the correct answer? The correct answer is letter A, salt water fish. Number three, which of the following is a salt water fish? A, catfish, B, eel, C, flounder, D, tilapia. I repeat, which of the following is a salt water fish? A, catfish, B, eel, C, flounder, D, tilapia. 
What is the correct answer? The correct answer is letter C, flounder. Number four. Which of the following is a freshwater fish? A. Grouper B. Blowfish C. Soulfish D. Tilapia I repeat, which of the following is a freshwater fish? A. Grouper B. Blowfish C. Soulfish D. Tilapia What is the correct answer? The correct answer is letter D, tilapia. Number 5. Which of the following are soft animals? A. Mollusks B. Crustacean C. Finfish T. Round Fish I repeat, which of the following are soft animals? A. Mollusks B. Crustacean C. Finfish T. Round Fish What is the correct answer? The correct answer is letter A, Molost. So how's your score, students? I am hoping that you get all items correctly. Now, for you to understand further about our topic, I have some questions for you to assess. Are you familiar with the different kinds of fields are found in our local market? Have you visited Tagum City Wet Market? What are your thoughts about the things that I've mentioned? Now, all of those questions are related to the topic, which is the classification of seafood. Okay, this day, our topic, it is all about classification of seafood. So, on some my name, seafood. What is seafood? Is any form of sea life regarded as food by humans includes fish and shellfish shellfish include various species of mollusk crustacean and echinoderms a wide variety of fish and seafood are available in the market from many different sources fish products are divided into two categories one is fin fish two is shellfish what is fin fish is a fish with fins in internal skeletons ang fin fish ay adunay palikpik o adunay buko two kinds of fin fish a salt water fish b fresh water fish on sa maning salt water fish na ginatawag are fish that live in ocean water also called marine fish two types of salt water fish on sa maning duha one is flat fish two is round fish flat fish or in tagalog or bisaya dampa tatambal is dang lapad or palad palad a flattened marine fish that swims on sides with both eye on the upper side they live typically on the seabed and are colored to resemble it example halibut fish halibut fish a northern marine fish which is the largest of the flat fishes and important as a food fish Next, another example of, fl of flat fish, flounder. It's a flat fish with both eyes on one side of its head. Another one is sole fish. It has a flat appearance and is typically brown with a white underside. It has two small eyes on the right side of its body and can grow up to 28 inches long. The soulfish dwells close to the ocean floor and is a bottom feeder, meaning it feeds on crustaceans and shellfish found at the bottom of the sea. Number two types of saltwater fish is round fish. 
Round fish are symmetrical with identical. Identical means magkapariho. Identical coloring on both sides. Round fish have an eye located on its side of its head. Example of the round fish, alumahan o matambaka. This mackerel species belong to the same fish family as tunas. They are widely common in the Philippines and generally found in shallow coastal waters. Shallow means dili tantong lalum. Another example of round fish, bisogo fish, yellow stripes cod, galunggong, sapsap, Salmon, codfish, tulingan, black sea bass, bluefish, and groperfish. So na ako ipangutan na unsay kilainan sa flatfish o groundfish. Ang flatfish, flat ang lawas. Dapa o kulob mulangoy. Ang kulay sa tiyan ay puti. Ang ibabaw, brown o black. Ang dua ka mata sa flatfish, nagtupad banda sa iyang ulo. Ang ulo sa flatfish ay flat o lapad o nagpuyo ang flatfish sa seabed o sa lug sa dagat. Ang roundfish na mampod ay may kabilugan o bilog ang lawas. Ikaduha ay may duha kakilid o two sides ang roundfish. Pareho ang kulay sa duha kakilid. Ang mga mata sa roundfish na ay matagkilid o both sides sa bandang ulo. Ang ulo sa roundfish ay may kabilugan o bilog. So, ang nagpuyo ang roundfish sa karagatan. Na ako'y pangutana. Ang bilong-bilong, asa man na bilong? Sa flatfish o sa roundfish? Okay. Ang bilong-bilong na bilong sa roundfish. Bakit? Ang bilong-bilong ay may dalawang sides o two sides ang mata nasa kabilang magkabilang gilid at saka nakatira ang round fish o ang bilong-bilong sa dagat o sa karagatan next number two kinds of fin fish fresh water fish fresh water fish are those that spend some or all of their lives in fresh water such as rivers and lakes with salinity of less than 1.05%. Salinity means kaparat sa tubig. Example of freshwater fish. Ano sa maning catfish? Catfish are type of fish that have long thin spines around their mouth. Spines means tunok. So, kabalo na mo kung saan catfish kay naasyay tunok. Number two is eel. Eel is snake-like fish with a slender, elongated body and poor developed fins proverbial for its slipperiness. Ang buot pa sa buot sa slipperiness is danlog. Maunang di siya ka-develop o fins ang eel kay danlog siya. Number three, tilapia. Tilapia are mainly freshwater fish inhabiting shallow streams, ponds, rivers, and lakes, and less commonly found living in brackish water. Ang bot pa sa bot sa brackish is slightly salty. So, wala nagpuyo ang tilapia sa brackish. It is only in streams, ponds, rivers, and lakes. Next, number two category of fish product is shellfish. Shellfish fish with external shells but no internal bone structure. So, walay bukog. They have hard outer shell. We have two types of shellfish. Mollusk. Number two, crustacean. Mollusks are soft sea animals. Crustaceans are animals with segmented shells and jointed legs. We have three kinds of mollusks. What are those? Bivalves, univalves, cephalopods. Number one kind of mollusks is bivalves. They have a pair of hinge shells. So, ano, ano ibig sabihin ng hinge? Bisagra. So, ang shell ay adunay bisagra. Ang nagkabit sa duha ka shell, ang tawag dyan ay bisagra. 
bisagra sa shell. Example of bivalves. A. Clams. The shell of clams forms of two roughly equal valves with hinges. Another example of mollusk is oyster. It's a large flat shellfish. Some oyster can be eaten and others produce valuable objects called pearls or perlas. Most oysters live in salt water or brackish environment. Additionally, their shells tend to contain high levels of calcium carbonate, about 96%. Another kind of mollusk is univalves. Univalves means they have a single shell. So example of this, abalon. Abalon and edible mollusk of warm seas with shallow air-shaped shell live with mother of pearl and pearls with a lime of respiratory holes. Next, another example of mollusk is cephalopods, an animal such as octopus or squid that has tentacles around the heads. Tentacles means mga galamay. So example of these are octopus and squid. Number two is the crustaceans, are animals with segmented shells and jointed legs. Example of this, shrimps and crab. Okay, let us now recap our lesson. So, what are the two categories of fish products? One is fin fish, two is shellfish. The fin fish have two types, salt water fish, and fresh water fish. The salt water fish have two kinds, flat fish and round fish. Let's go to the shellfish. The shellfish classified into two, mollusk and crustacean. The mollusk has three types. One is bivalves. Number two is univalves. Number three is cephalopods. Okay, nanapog ko'y pangutana. Makaun ba ang jellyfish? Saan nabilong ang jellyfish? Sa univalves, bivalves, o cephalopod? Ang tamang sagot, makaun ba ang jellyfish? Makaun. Okay? Saan nabilong ang jellyfish? Sa univalves, bivalves, o cephalopod? Cephalopod. Bakit? Marami siyang tentacles o maraming galamay ang jellyfish. Okay, for the closure. Seafood have, have, a, have vitamins and minerals. Seafood has been shown to have numerous health benefits. For example, recent studies have shown that eating seafood can decrease the risk of heart attack, stroke, obesity, and hypertension. Seafood also provides essential nutrients for developing infants and children. I know you have learned so much from the topic that was being discussed. Alright students, we are now on our post-test. Please have now your pen and paper to write your answer on its question. You are only given 5 seconds to answer each question. And after 5 seconds, I will reveal the correct answer. Just write the letter of the correct answer of the given question. Shall we start now? Number 1. What kind of fish has no internal bone structure? A. Fin fish B. Freshwater fish C. Shellfish T. Round fish I repeat, what kind of fish has no internal bone structure? A. Fin fish B. Freshwater fish C. Shellfish T. Round fish What is the correct answer? The correct answer is letter C. Number 2 What do you call marine fish or fish that live in ocean? A. Saltwater fish B. Freshwater fish C. Shellfish T. Catfish what is the correct answer?
The correct answer is letter A, salt water fish. Number 3. Which of the following is a salt water fish? A. Catfish B. Eel C. Flounder D. Tilapia What is the correct answer? The correct answer is letter C. Flounder Number 4 Which of the following is a freshwater fish? A. Grouper B. Bluefish C. Soulfish T. Tilapia What is the correct answer? The correct answer is letter T. Tilapia Number 5 Which of the following are soft animals? A. Mollusk B. Crustacean C. Finfish P. Round fish. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is letter A. Mollusks. Well, how's your score, students? I hope that you got a perfect score on your post test. Good job, students! Now for your evaluation. Explain briefly why are fish so important. Fish are key in ocean ecosystems and food chains. They are also important for people and economies around the world. Fisheries put seafood on the table for billions of people and offer jobs and livelihoods for millions. So who got the correct answer? Or any answer okay now let's go to the assignment number one visit at least two markets or supermarkets and list down the fishes and seafood that they are selling number two identify the kind of fishes and other seafood products available in the market visited then Post it on your Facebook wall or send it to my messenger. So, see you next Teleradio Escuela. Keep safe everyone and God bless. That was great. Thank you so much, Mam Rosario Sabinario. To our viewers and listeners, thank you for listening. I hope that you learned something from our topic today. See you next Teleradio. Keep safe everyone and God bless.